One man, one fly, one minute to kill it, to win 100 pounds. Man versus fly. Welcome once again to the Fly Dome, where I'm joined by a man who's been killing flies since the day he was born, Pat Cowell. That's correct, mate. I slid out, one landed on the umbilical cord. Bang! Gone. I wonder what the dome's going to throw up for us today. The door is open and in pops... Um... Champagne. A wanker. Hang on, he's got staff. This bloke's got staff. Two, three, four. Jeez, I like the look of this. Five. Hang on, we've got six bottles of champagne and one tosser. His name's Robert Watson Wonkworth, Marquis of Flunt. Bullington Club. Got the uh, double-barreled surname there. He's got two dads. So, yeah, we don't have posh people in Australia. Here's the fly. He's up against Jack Fagburn of the Scum Shovel Working Men's Club in Burnley. Loves a pork scratching left in an ashtray. I can relate to that, Pat. <laughs> Mate, you have never left a pork scratching anywhere. You're right, Pat, you're right. This will be the last day of your life, Chappie. Well, he's made a big call early. Now, he's got to get the flies with the champagne. He's got to hit them with the cork. So, mate, I would be doing less talking and actually preparing the bottles and uh, maybe taking a bit of the foil off them and so they're ready to go. But anyway, he's probably too busy thinking about uh, the horse face chick he's going to be chockers up after the bout. But, uh, look, God bless him. And uh, the fly, I like the look of the fly. He's energetic. He's looking. He's seeing what's going on. And he's out. He's out. He came out and he went low. Now look at this bloke, he's unprepared. He expected his servant to maybe get this ready for him, so it's not ready to go, so he's losing valuable seconds. Is it true that the uh, Bullingdon Club is a breeding ground for the uh, global elite, Pat? Well, they're certainly global. I don't know how elite they are, because this bloke is uh, all over the shop early on. He's going to fizz up the bottles, he's going to undo them, he's going to aim. Oh, he's take taking that from the groin. He's aimed from the groin. <laughs> Now, he was in there with the classic crutch cork shot. Not effective, so he's going for something else, Pat. The over the shoulder, as we call it, the fireman. He's had a sip there for confidence. The fly, the fly's loving it. The fly's getting off his nut quietly in the corner. And he's staying in the corner. If I was the fly, I'd move a bit. I don't know why he's not. Hang on, hang on. This might... He's got him! He's got him! Fly down! Fly down! Right on the buzzer. That is a good bat. Oh, you tosser. To win for the man there. Well, there's the kill shot. That great slow mo that there. That's a of... great piece of cinematography. That's a good bout. I'm happy to see that. I wouldn't want to have a drink with the bloke, but he's done well. Oh, there he goes off to pull a couple of rich totties, I believe they're called. Oh, they're great. They look like horses and fuck like monkeys. The posh, we love them. I've got to say, for a dead fly, he looked happy. <laughs>